C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 15 visualizing solid shapes page 277 15.1 introduction plain figures and solid shapes in this chapter you will classify figures you have seen in terms of what is known as dimension. In our day-to-day -day life, we see several objects like books, balls, ice cream cones, etc. around us, which have different shapes. One thing common about most of these objects is that they all have some length, breadth and height or depth. That is, they all occupy space and have three dimensions. Hence, they are called three-dimensional shapes. Do you remember some of the three-dimensional shapes, that is, solid shapes, we have seen in earlier classes? Try these. Match the shape with the name. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the different shapes given. The options are, a. Cuboid B. Cylinder C. Cube D. Sphere E. Pyramid F. Cone Page 278 Try to identify some objects shaped like each of these. By a similar argument, we can say Figures drawn on paper which have only length and breadth are called two-dimensional, that is, plane figures. We have also seen some two-dimensional figures in the earlier classes. Match the two-dimensional figures with the names. Figure 15.2 Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the five different shapes given here. The options to match are A. Circle B. Rectangle C. Square D. Quadrilateral E. Triangle Note, we can write 2D in short for 2 dimension and 3D in short for 3 dimension. 15.2 Faces, Edges and Vertices do you remember the faces, vertices and edges of solid shapes, which you studied earlier? Here you see them for a cube. The eight corners of the cube are its vertices. The twelve line segments that form the skeleton of the cube are its edges. The six flat square surfaces that are the skin of the cube are its faces. Page 279. Do this. Complete the following table. Table 15.1. We have different shapes given here in four different columns and we have three rows. Faces F, edges E, vertices V. Let's read the column. There are few blank spaces to be filled in. 6, 4, dash, dash, 12, dash, 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 8, 4, dash, dash. Can you see that the two-dimensional figures can be identified as the faces of the three-dimensional shapes? For example, a cylinder has two faces which are circles, and a pyramid, shaped like this, has triangles as its faces. We will now try to see how some of these 3D shapes can be visualized on a 2D surface, that is, on paper. In order to do this, we would like to get familiar with three-dimensional objects closely. Let us try forming these objects by making what are called nets. 15.3. Nets for building 3D shapes. 
Take a cardboard box. Cut the edges to lay the box flat. You have now a net for that box. A net is a sort of skeleton outline in 2D. Figure 15.41, which, when folded, figure 15.42 results in a 3D shape. Figure 15.43. Page 280. Here you got a net by suitably separating the edges. Is the reverse process possible? Here is a net pattern for a box. Figure 15.5. Copy an enlarged version of the net and try to make the box by suitably folding and gluing together. You may use suitable units. The box is a solid. It is a 3D object with the shape of a cuboid. Similarly, you can get a net for a cone by cutting a slit along its slant surface. You have different nets for different shapes. Copy enlarged versions of the nets given, figure 15.7, and try to make the 3D shapes indicated. You may also like to prepare skeleton models using strips of cardboard fastened with paper clips. We would also try to make a net for making a pyramid like the Great Pyramid in Giza, Egypt. Figure 15.8 That pyramid has a square base and triangles on the four sides. See if you can make it with the given net. Figure 15.9 Page 281 Try these. Here you find four nets. Figure 15.10 There are two correct nets among them to make a tetrahedron. See if you can work out which nets will make a tetrahedron. Exercise 15.1 1. Identify the nets which can be used to make cubes. Cut out copies of the nets and try it. We have six options here. 2. Dice are cubes with dots on each face. Opposite faces of a dice always have a total of seven dots on them. Here are two nets to make dice, that is cubes. The numbers inserted in each square indicate the number of dots in that box. Insert suitable numbers in the blanks, remembering that the number on the opposite faces should total to 7. 3. Can this be a net for a die? Explain your answer. Page 282 4. Here is an incomplete net for making a cube. Complete it in at least two different ways. Remember that a cube has six faces. How many are there in the net here? Give two separate diagrams. If you like, you may use a squared sheet for easy manipulation. 5. Match the nets with appropriate solids. We have four options here. Play this game. You and your friend sit back to back. One of you reads out a net to make a 3D shape, while the other attempts to copy it and sketch or build the described 3D object. 15.4 Drawing solids on a flat surface Your drawing surface is paper, which is flat. When you draw a solid shape, the images are somewhat distorted to make them appear three-dimensional. It is a visual illusion. You will find here two techniques to help you. 15.4.1 Oblique Sketches Here is a picture of a cube. Figure 15.11 It gives a clear idea of how the cube looks like when seen from the front. You do not see certain faces. In the drawn picture, the lengths are not equal, as they should be in a cube.
page 283. Still, you are able to recognize it as a cube. Such a sketch of a solid is called an oblique sketch. How can you draw such sketches? Let us attempt to learn the technique. You need a squared, that is, lines or dots, paper. Initially, practicing to draw on these sheets will later make it easy to sketch them on a plain sheet, without the aid of squared lines or dots. Let us attempt to draw an oblique sketch of a 3 by 3 by 3, that is, each edge is 3 units, cube. Figure 15.12 Step 1. Draw the front face. Step 2. Draw the opposite face. Sizes of the faces have to be same, but the sketch is somewhat offset from step 1. Step 3. Join the corresponding corners. Step 4. Redraw using dotted lines for hidden edges. It is a convention. The sketch is ready now. In the oblique sketch above, did you note the following? 1. The sizes of the front faces and its opposite are same. And 2. The edges, which are all equal in a cube, appear so in the sketch, though the actual measures of edges are not taken so. You could now try to make an oblique sketch of a cuboid. Remember the faces in this case are rectangles. Note, you can draw sketches in which measurements also agree with those of a given solid. To do this we need what is known as an isometric sheet. Let us try to make a cuboid with dimensions 4 cm length, 3 cm breadth and 3 cm height on given isometric sheet. Page 284 15.4.2 Isometric Sketches Have you seen an isometric dot sheet? A sample is given at the end of the book. Such a sheet divides the paper into small equilateral triangles made up of dots or lines. To draw sketches in which measurements also agree with those of the solid, we can use isometric dot sheets, given on inside of the back cover, third cover page. Let us attempt to draw an isometric sketch of a cuboid of dimensions 4 by 3 by 3, which means the edges forming length, breadth and height are 4, 3, 3 units respectively. Figure 15.13 Step 1 Draw a rectangle to show the front face. Step 2. Draw four parallel line segments of length 3 starting from the four corners of the rectangle. Step 3. Connect the matching corners with appropriate line segments. Step 4. This is an isometric sketch of the cuboid. Note that the measurements are of exact size in an isometric sketch. This is not so in the case of an oblique sketch. Example 1. Here is an oblique sketch of a cuboid, figure 15.141. Draw an isometric sketch that matches this drawing. Solution. Here is the solution, figure 15.142. Note how the measurements are taken care of. How many units have you taken along? 1. Length. 2. Breadth. 3. Height. Do they match with the units mentioned in the oblique sketch? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.